Well, Lord, it is Sunday. <clears throat> and this is a day I normally take to, to housework. I even got out in the yard today. But there's been this ongoing situation. I'm not a heavy Instagram user. I do post there. I go on there because I really love looking at images of people. And the one thing I really used to love about IG was the fact that you didn't have all of that. Uh, I didn't, you can choose not to read all those comments, but it seemed to be a place of less back and forth and foolishness. Now, you all notice that with me, um, I've had a couple of times where I've tried to form like partnerships, do certain things with people in the spiritual community. And most of those situations just ended because my character would not allow me to continue to be involved in it. Um, and that's the way I roll. Other people roll in many different ways. So when I did the video the other day about a person who understood the terms of initiation, understood that your payment was final, understood, had even been to see my mambo prior, stayed with her in her house. And mambo had really glowing things to say about this young woman. Now I'm, God damn it, I hate messy ass people. And, and you know, I think that because we are in a so-called community, um, that mess seems to intensify because you have a smaller circle of people that you are dealing with. Uh, one of the young witches in our witch circle came up, you know, like we had two of a membership of about 40 people show up last night for our circle meeting. And, you know, the way I am is I don't, I don't fuck with people that don't, don't fuck with me. Okay. Um, and so if, you know, there are people who want education, you know, I found that that worked really well until we started requiring members to actually start studying and presenting on magical topics. I don't like people just gathering for whatever sake. If you're not, you know, I'm the type of person when I'm working, I'm always trying to learn something, I'm always trying to read something. And I think that's really important. So you should, you know, as an adult, be able to read. And so clearly on the invoice for her initiation fees, it said all sales are final. You know, this is, you know, everybody understood that before it was paid. And so because I hate messy bullshit and messy ass people, because see, that's not why I am in into spirituality spirituality has become my life where I have now been able to reckon a lot of conflicts emotionally about things in life that I had when I was not a magical practitioner and just you know when you need help you know how to how to you know get the help you need from your spirits and your spirit guides and how to honor them and uh, follow the traditions of our ancestors. That's what I'm about. I would not have initiated for any other reason. But when I do tell you that initiation, as it should be, is more often better for your business, you know, because people come to you as a spiritual advisor because they want to trust you. They're trusting you with some of the most horrific things that they've never told anybody else it's and it's a tremendous tremendous responsibility so i felt that the more i entrenched myself in the healing ways of my ancestors the more and, and healing comes in a lot of different forms for all these love and lighters out here because sometimes healing requires somebody to get a good kick in the ass and that's why I'm not a big person on this whole fucking forgiveness tip. You know, but just because you don't forgive somebody doesn't mean that you, you don't you don't have to stay in a negative space about them. And see, that's one of the most important things that you're going to learn about spiritual growth, that you don't 
have to stay in a negative space about somebody, even somebody you might have even had to throw at in order to release the anger that resides in you because that's their toxicity in existence still. That is like drinking poison and expecting another motherfucker to die. So you would like when there are situations like this, you know, because um, maybe even though there wasn't a refund, there could have been an exchange of magical services or something. When you do things as an adult and when you do things in the right way and this person and I'm going to say this person's name and I regretted not saying it in the first place because so I've heard, like I said, I'm not a big IG person. Um, I probably need to be because Facebook gets on my goddamn nerves. But this person, um, I didn't even know who she was when she came for initiation. And I did not even know about this person's company because I don't think on those levels. But this person owns the company Bossy Bruja. She has a following. And the reason why I got slammed with over 400 emails for our last call for initiation was because she was seeking initiation, had been to visit my mambo, saw what the things that my mambo does and is trying to accomplish in Haiti, then decided she wanted to initiate paid her fee, and then due to whatever influences she may have had spiritually with other people that are in the spiritual community, whatever, decided that that was not going to be for her. But as grown people, we have to follow the rules in which we were given. And that's why a lot of people don't want to go down the path of voodoo. I don't, I cannot speak of any other African traditional religion because I'm trying so hard in the few minutes I have to myself like what I could be doing right now spending time with my spirits and meditation reading, research, scholarly study because it's important all of those things and actually doing and putting my hands on the work you know Sunday is an excellent day Uh, my tub is clean to take a cleansing bath Because y'all have to understand, like, you know, people were talking about Dave Chappelle's last stand-up, and no matter how inappropriate some of the things he said were, and they were, um, people are fucked up. And a lot of people's deepest, darkest thoughts, if they were exposed to the public, would make a lot of people dislike them. That's not necessarily to say you have to be fake in public. But what I want to do is I always ask questions, want to know the truth. Um, My mama and I have had great, loving, amazing conversations. And we've had difficult conversations. You know, we're not required to think alike. But when, you know, you do something like that and then you get in a public space Talking about our temple was high maintenance. No, our temple's being built. How about that? And, you know, and with a strong house in American dollars, it wouldn't cost that much to finish this. And so they had agreed Mambo was going to do vigils for people for prosperity for the next year, which is what a Mambo is supposed to do. That is what you hire a pride priestess to do in the land of your ancestors or where some of your ancestors first resided. That is why you pay for spiritual work. You know, sometimes people come to me and I'm like, can you do a love spell for me to get my man back or, you know, um, uh, Make him see his kids and do right by his kids. And look, those are real legitimate desires. Ones that I feel often are more appropriate in your hands first. So what, you know, when I heard, and I actually heard about the prosperity burn from one of my students who happened to be here for Hoodoo 201 riding in the car. And she said, oh yeah, I purchased it. And I thought it was like, you know, a little dollar amount is $125. And then she said, yeah, it's going to pay for the roof of the peristyle, our temple. And I was like, wow, that's, you know, a really good idea and a concept. And, but my spirit was like, hmm, 
She's not initiated. She's not a member of the house. And um, I felt funky about it. And I, I've got to stop not saying things to people that I feel funky about because my biggest thing is I'm very, very practical, okay? And I got to see several people from my voodoo family on here. You know, um, I always want to be practical in my responses and how I deal with things. And so that is why I said in the video that I posted earlier, nobody, now initiation is not cheap. But unlike a lot of different places, and I don't know how they do it, but I've had a lot of people be surprised by the cost of initiation on the initial letter, initial contact and all of the requirements. Cause we found just due to misunderstandings in the past, we don't want that shit. Now we have some really, some really big people in the spiritual community <clears throat> came forward from my last call to be in our house. And I didn't know at the time even my sister lady speech, I was like, wait a minute. Oh, wow. That's her. Really, really, really powerful sisters and brothers. So when I found that this young lady had pursued it, I was just like, wow. Well, you know, I, then I started to see, you know, how she was rolling and how her business and the coaching and spiritual helping of others was going. It was going very well. You know, it is a big mystery to us. You know, I'm sure Mambo has divined on it. Mambo has given all of the reasons why this occurred. But when it first came to the surface, we were like, well, why, what's the a sudden change? And why is it being discussed publicly? See, that's the thing that social media has done to us, y'all. Like, you know, and I'm going to talk about this in real serious as psychological terms because part of this has really, really harmed us. And I'm not going to take away from that. But black folks in particular, because of the bullshit of a structurally oppressive racist environment, have learned you don't even hang your drawers outside on the line to 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 dry my family if we didn't have a dryer we hung our clothes outside and we hung our drawers in the house our underwear and we understood what hanging your drawers outside really fucking meant so like i said at no point was my mom about our house given the opportunity to say you know hey sis what happened we was you know you was in here with us and we received classes and I can't even tell a whole year before initiation and I'm still like wow there's just so much to learn because initiation is that the beginning things that non-initiates can know learn my mumbo knows what to teach and whatnot and I, I come sometimes and my, my, I'm guilty y'all I'm working 24 7 listen y'all i want y'all to listen to this i'm at home put, put 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 your ears back i want you to listen you can't even hear this cat scratching her stuff over here in the corner i'm at home by myself now y'all know what a treat that is and yet i gotta sit and i gotta talk about some bullshit see you know like i said if she had some issue with anybody or anything along this initiation and even if that final decision was to be done conversation should have been had in in private a lot of people you know and, and mambo got lost a hundred followers woo woo these probably people that would follow her because she said that black americans can be very fucking rude when it comes to voodoo and they can be very rude in a lot of things because we are trained to be ugly Americans. And I have to tell you, um, I've seen it in all aspects of African traditional religions. It has no place. It has absolutely no place. 
And so, you know, like I said, I want when we send these letters to people who are wanting to initiate and I'm going to tell you, initiation don't mean your life's going to be perfect. It doesn't mean that they're going to give you every spell in the book. What it means is, is that you are walking and you are covered by your metat, your spirit. You have a spiritual cord of people who have been on your side, watching your back, your front, everything. Since the moment you popped out of the womb, you were just learning how to strengthen that relationship with them. And yes, all religions have stuff. Right, that's that's right. Cinnamon, cinnamon. There's been a lot of people here, I'm seeing on this post, who started the road to the initiation or inquired about it, decided it wasn't for them at the time. Wasn't nobody, we didn't even do no Jehovah Witness shit. Didn't nobody even get up in your inbox to ask you what the fuck the problem was unless you wanted to talk about it. But you have to understand, socie, society, means secret society. You know, everybody who's out here taking a stand for keeping hoodoo black, you know, but then I'm looking at their behavior where that's anything but what we supposed to be doing. You know, it is the last thing in the world that we are supposed to be doing. Voodoo, my mama will even go as far as to say, is not a religion. It is life. Voodoo means spirit. Now, when people want to talk about whether white folks should be in voodoo, the bottom line is, is that the formation of the religions that surround them create, a, I got this little piece of hair to just, I feel like that girl Nicole on YouTube, just stay down, there we go. You know, we've all been in every single religion you can see the manifestation of the original voodoo and the way people construct things now the, the thing about religion is is the way that people may interpret that idea or that construction may not roll with you and so that's why it is very much important that you feel that shit right in the depths of your bones because you're looking at somebody who didn't initiate till she was 49 years old and had never, and I've been homeless, slept my ass on a bare floor before. On a mat. Okay, my ass is like the motherfucking princess in the goddamned pee. All right? And that's just, man, when you start talking about, like, the sacrifices that you should be making as a voodoo sign, it's not about all the movies and cutting up animals and all that. You know, everything does have its place. But with voodoo, I have to sacrifice my behavior sometimes. Sometimes I'm nice when I don't want to be. And sometimes I'm really fucking nasty when I don't want to be. Because I know what is required of me. And you know, the reality is, if you get down to the bottom of all of it, it's just be a decent fucking human being. You know, if you look at a lot of, especially Abrahamic religions, it's about sacrificing the things that make us human. All the shit that feels good. You know, but that's not to say that voodoo doesn't have morality. It does. But it has it within the scope of the betterment of you and the betterment of the children that you will bring forth. You know? And just some plain old fucking common sense about how to be a decent human being. And this woman has behaved anything but that. And I want to know, how is that okay? You know, my cousin once told me, if you don't stand for something, you're going to fall for anything. So I stand on voodoo, okay? And I stand on my mambo. Does that mean she is perfect? That doesn't mean that 
we agree on every single thing. You know, with religion, you got to take what's for you as you believe that it is for you. That is your responsibility. Mambo gets a message and says, um, you ain't doing such and such and such and such. I do my kids like that. She does her kids like that. And, you know, when you grown, okay, <laughs> Mumbo made a quote about being a grown ass woman this morning. It cracked me up, but I'm not going to repeat it. But it was hilarious. But, you know, you're supposed to take spiritual advice and heed it, process it for yourself, and then make certain decisions. That does not mean you have to tell everybody about the decisions that you made. But you also don't really have to justify. See, that's the thing. I love Bashy. She, she reminded me of old saying, you know, you don't have to get ready when you stay ready. Okay? And you don't have to explain a goddamn thing to anybody if you decide to change your mind about anything as a grown person. It's not a good look. You know, now, you know, I've talked to so many sisters who have come away from male toxicity in um, the African traditional religions, in the church, and also female problems, problems with men and women of all types, genders, fluids, everybody, human beings, human beings can be some real shit asses, Okay. And it will take away your faith. It will break certain people. And you're going to have to understand that above and beyond all things, it's spirit that we're dealing with. It is our direct connection to our ancestors, our elevated primordial spirits and our creator. And so... My changes in behavior have not been, you know, and people will say that when you, and that's another thing, being a person who so may sell some of the same services and things like that as another person, I'm always reticent to speak out against somebody else, you know, but I mean, you can go read the shit on Instagram. I wasn't going to say shit till it hit the public. And I had permission from my mambo to do so. And still, even at that time, would not mention this person's name. But this is ridiculous, y'all. It shows that, you know, there are a lot of people that are very, and I, I get it all the time. And, you know, I'm, if I had come, and I explained this to the witches, the two witches that showed up for the witch circle last night. I said, I, I really feel you all. And this is why we have this. Because when I started seeing spirits again, spirits that I knew from childhood and stuff that was shit that was happening, that only happened in the house that I grew up in uh, up here in Ohio. Um, before we moved back to Chicago, I was just like, what the fuck, man? I really, they were my friends. They were my photography mentors. And I was like, I know y'all work with spirits. I'm not really trying to fuck with them like that. Not even, you know, because of, you know, I have read all different types of, of, of books. Not, you know, just not really associating what they were doing with the things that, you know, we believed in. But I really didn't want to be, you know, doing any of this. You know, and basically I got told by them, you know, that's your birthright. Those your ancestors, you know, the spirit, you know, the way you describe him, this is who he is. So being the person that I am, I'll start reading, find out information. I'm like, oh, whoa, whoa, this is, this is, this is it. This is, this is what I've been looking for. And so that's how you make that decision, the rational decision for initiation. Sometimes there are spiritual regions and spirit will push you forth I didn't have that situation. I also did not have a situation where I started out untrained by black or white people. I had 
spiritual people who, while none of them being perfect, had valuable information to share for me on my path to spiritual growth. And I was able to grab really good shit and put up boundaries for the stuff I didn't want. So unlike a lot of people who have really bad experiences with people who are not on the upper up and people who are not initiating people properly or constantly in some bullshit, you know, I see these people, you know, and when I first started practicing, I was in groups with these people and, um, I've limited my involvement because, you know, if you, if I go, if you see me at a pagan festival and I don't care if it's a, a black festival or a diverse festival or, you know, mostly white pagan festival, when they do group ritual, I go back to my room because I do group ritual with my house, my group. The people who have initiated and gone through this path and stayed in this path and are willing every single person to grow together. That's what I do group ritual with. This, the utter nonsense that happens in these spaces and places because black people have now started hanging their draws out on the fucking clothesline. Okay? And granted, some of them draws had to be hung out, you know, different things like molestation, you know, abuse, systematic racism, oppression, and the shit we deal with, the microaggressions, the shit that we bury down deep so fucking bad that we have PTSD. Yes, that's getting hung out and some draws can be hung out to dry, but shit stained dirty G strings are not included. So, you know, understand, I don't care. I love all people on a whole. But guess what? That's like my children. I'll be like, I love you to death, but I don't fucking like you. I don't like you. Because I know what kind of motherfucker I am down deep. Number one, I don't never have to get up and talk about it on Facebook. But I also know the parts that I'm digging out and I'm throwing away. And what I would like to be able to do, especially on a fucking Sunday afternoon, because I want to fucking chill at least one day out of the goddamn week. But if I have to speak to you, I would want to be telling you about some of the stuff I put in, what I ate, whether it's physical or spiritual, what I did. To toss out some of that old ass bile and put in something fresh. And the shit that I'm still digging deep on or the shit that I'd like to keep. Because everybody got some ain't shittiness about them. But I can promise you I try to keep mine way, way down near my goddamn colon. Not near my heart. You know, we've gotten into this age of internet influencers. Motherfuckers will, your phone will influence you. You know, because let me, let me explain some shit to you. My daughter works at Barnes and Noble. I love that fucking store. But I know how many 50 million, 11 motherfucking books, all of them magical because that's all I bought in, in the last decade are sitting here waiting for my attention. Okay. I'm full of ain't shittiness. Because I'm so thinking about, mm, yeah, I could just roll up in there for a few hours. When, and that's what I'm talking about. Like, when I talk about how voodoo changes me, it's a, it's a principal thing. I feel like, okay, do you really need to buy another paper product? You know, you could get that on an e-reader, but you know you hate e-readers and you hate all this bullshit on the internet anyway. You know, just trying to justify that I'm about to go buy some shit I didn't fucking need. And there are lots and lots and lots and lots of people who do that to fill holes. Some of them are my customers. I pay attention. I print every order that comes through my store before I pass them to Rakia or Mark. And um, I've made every single formulation in my store. So I know what the fuck you on when I'm reviewing your order. And I'm just like, they're filling a hole. I have one man that would come in. Week after week after week, he looked like ZZ Top, white guy. 
and you got some serious spiritual shit going on, but you want to $25 your way into my wealth, because that's what I'm saying. I'm becoming wealthy $25 at a time, and it's okay. Or are you going to pay that $95 and really sit down and let's talk to some spirits and let's get a divination to find out how really to fix this shit? And so a lot of people are successful because people are committed to the $25 solution. Either due to our circumstances or our just downright fucking spiritual stinginess. I even heard that, like I said, she said our house was needy. Haiti is needy. They are not. And it's really fucked up because for the country to be so poor... Man, the energy, the vibe there is, you fuck, man, look, at the gas station, the motherfuckers have AK-47s. I felt no fear. Because I knew if I wasn't doing nothing, they weren't going to fuck with me. So that vibe over there is so fucking completely different. That initiation was worth that experience alone. But the things that I can't talk about. And see, that's another thing. Spirit has a way of running motherfuckers out who can't hold water. I talk. And I talk a lot of shit. But there's some shit I will never tell any of you. But what I'm saying is. What we when you want to initiate, you want to get that spirit of that place. That you want to be on the ground, literally for the first time in my life, sleeping on the ground in that place. I didn't want to look like a fucking idiot, you know. Here I am, I hear all light and bright, bright. But when I got off the fucking airplane, I wanted to get down and kiss the ground like the goddamn pope. But I didn't want to embarrass anybody, so I didn't do it. And to see that, you know, any matter of initiation, unless somebody is really fucked you over in a way that you could actually sue them in a court of law type of shit, then what? You made a choice. That choice was not for you. But that doesn't mean the rules change for you. So I don't really care how... Like I said, I don't really know, like, people be coming to me and talking about, do you know about so-and-so and and this big name and that big name? And, you know, the critiques that some of these people have of them is like, I saw a couple videos. I'm not offended by anything they said. And, you know, for the people that I really do appreciate and I do watch their videos, I'm like, yeah, they got some really good videos. But what you got to understand about every single conjurer that's out here, and this is important. And and this is something you should know. Everybody puts their different spin and their energy on their work. So when I'm selling products that help you improve your life, then I got to be improving mine. There's got to be some demonstrative uh, way of showing that. It, that's what you should look for in people who are your spiritual advisor, that the things that you wish to achieve through your spiritual enlightenment that whoever is, if you're buying products from a person or getting readings from that person, do you really want to do that? Because I think that a lot of us, especially in the spiritual community, any spiritual community, I'm talking about any, if they looked really hard at that religion they spent the last 20 years doing in the beginning and that maybe had been naive or... um, Really not down in the first place, but just really thought it would give them some type of advantage. Man, you know, um, even on the up and up, that's not going to be what happens to people and not to everybody. But what I do know about forms of spirituality from, you know, voodoo to Christianity to Judaism to to, uh, law of attraction, belief. Hardcore faith. The way you've put your heart, your emotions, and your goddamned money is what you stand behind. And the moment that you don't stand behind that anymore, you know, hey, that doesn't mean in voodoo, that doesn't mean your spirits disappear. Like I said, they were there before you were. 
the minute you popped out somebody's coochie, they were there to catch you. They don't forget. So, yeah, in some situations, some people get called to voodoo, and they do. I told you. I went through three mambos. Okay? Exactly. Well, you know, and I think that on the other side, like, we got slammed with initiation requests and it was, oh, I answered 300 fucking emails so much where even though it is my job to recruit people from the house, I'm not going to be able to email people anymore. I've had to dispatch that to other members in the house. So you all will be communicating with other people. I will just be telling you who to reach out to because I got slammed. So I'm sure Mambo says she lost a hundred followers today. She don't give a fuck. They probably did come from there. And you know what? This is the thing. You know, spirit, if you ask them to, which we do constantly, as you should, as a observer of these faiths, is spirit, show me who ain't for me. My mambo, of course, who ain't for this house. Let them be on their way. You know, that's always my first thing. I used to say when I was a Christian, Father, keep the wolves at bay. And I started saying that about men. Okay. And then I started saying that about people because I really invested in my female relationships, whether they were um, platonic or not. But I really invested in my relationships with my friends to the point where when I, you know, I'm not the one arranging, doing things. Shit don't happen. And um, I just walk away. You know, and and, 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 and I'm not going to say that the walking away was always amicable with a lot of these people. But what I don't need to do, you know, is to even expose my ain't shittiness by exposing theirs. You know, um... There are very few people in this community that I think have the capability where they're like a menace, you know? Um, And I hope that accountability um, and people willing to say something um, will still be the case. Because there's some things that I have heard in... You know, things that I'm, you know, in the reading and, you know, sometimes you got to sit there and be like, do we, do you even bring this up? Because they ain't talked about it. And you'd be like, God damn. So, yeah, and and I'm not going to sit up and lie to you all in everything, everywhere we go. There's frauds. There's big frauds. There's catfish. There's lies. But. When you align yourself with spirit, and this is this is my goal, and this is not a goal that I was spoon-fed by my mambo, but it was reinforced. See, that's the difference. My goal is, you know, I just want to, I want to be close to spirit. I just want to be settled in my spirit. That at the end of the day, that as much as I could get done, because the to-do list is always way too fucking long. That I helped somebody. That the way I left my mark was just to be a a, a person that stand for good shit and good things for people. I don't understand why human beings don't want to be happy. I don't understand why people always got to keep up some shit when it's so much better for Everyone, emotionally and spiritually, to put shit down that no longer serves you and walk away. So understand that um, spirit will, yes, they will, they will separate you from people who, and that's not even, like, people decide not to initiate all the time, but that doesn't mean that they're horrible people. But the way that this was gone about was absolutely horrible. Um, I ain't get no phone call. I ain't get no message. 
Nobody, I, I, you talk to me first, right? Because even if whatever the situation was, I'm the emissary here, you know? And so, yeah, so yes, this person definitely not a good fit for the house, to say the least. And it's not elitist, you know, you ain't got, we got people from all walks of life, sexual orientations, different cultural backgrounds, but it's like, you know, we all have this commitment to decency. I have lost, I used to be in a group, uh, when I, a muggle group with like 60 members and that group completely fell apart. I have friend, lifelong friends in that group and relatives. We were all in that group helping and supporting each other because I stood my ground on my principles. And I don't like people fuck shit. And I don't like microaggressions. And I don't like passive aggressive bullshit. If I wanted all that, I'd get married. <laughs> I'll be here all week. In any case, y'all, I'm going to go now. I'm going to finish my Sababa Mediterranean food. I'm going to finish what I was smoking before I had to get online. And I'm going to watch probably Architectural Digest's Million Dollar Homes that are so fucking sick and unnecessary, but you, your ain't shittiness loves them so motherfucking much. And I want you all to do something that pleases your body, your mind, and your soul for the rest of this day, if you can. Those of you who have children, I don't know what to tell you. Have a blessed evening.